villages in Kortule in Karen State celebrate their 62nd annual Martyrs Day. The gatherings mark the first open celebrations at their rebel headquarters near the Thai border. The day commemorates the anniversary of Sorba Uji's death, a former Karen leader who was ambushed by Burmese soldiers. Now they remember all those who have fallen in the Karen's long history of conflict. It's a time for remembrance, but also for looking to the future. The Democratic Karen Benevolent Army and its political wing, the KKO, maintain that peace is a distant prospect for the people. But unless the Burmese government enters into meaningful talks and seeks a political settlement with ethnic groups, the fighting will continue. If we go to the political level, political stage, there is no current state in their constitution. Not only current, all ethnics. No current state, only their constitution is unitary state not federal. So future is not good, you know. Maybe fighting, maybe fight. So we want genuine peace. Unless they solve the national problems, that will be war again. Both rebel groups, the DKBA and the Karen National Union, have signed a peace agreement with the government, but relations remain volatile. Last winter, Burmese soldiers stormed the village and many fled. Some, like Man San Tor, stayed behind to help the Karen soldiers. Now the village can focus on rebuilding, exchanging guns for pens. Programs in nursing and computing have been created to train both soldiers and civilians. Private donations fund the rebuild in the absence of government aid. Karen people realise that education and healthcare are vital if the next generation are to find a lasting peace.